The AEW collision ratings are in, and I can't speak. I can't speak. Welcome back to Fog Wrestling. They can't draw on the ratings, and they can't even sell tickets in the arena. It was empty. It was disgraceful. If you want to see a full show review, go check it out. It was uploaded yesterday. It was uploaded yesterday. AEW collision. Saturday night's all right for fighting, but... Definitely not alright for the fuse because the fuse are absolutely diabolical but you know the dirt sheets, the marks that love this garbage can't seem to grasp why the show is so bad and uh, according to, we're reading this article on Sports Kida so listen, listen to this, listen to this. This past week's edition of AEW Collision saw a significant drop in ratings despite former world champion Brian Danielson opening the show with a dream match and the debut of a former WWE Cruiserweight champion. What? What? I mean, honestly, <clears throat> who cares if Neville made his collision debut? I mean, the guy's been in AEW for years. Oh, he appeared on a show for once. I mean, I mean, come on. Like, who, who, who are we trying to kid here now? It does go on top of the fact that in June 2023, CM Punk was the face of the show. 800,000 viewers, the ratings for the show have been in a consistent decline. Following Punk's departure, the show has struggled to pull off even 500,000 viewers. Yeah, they've they're been nowhere near that. Um, they're trying to hype up a dream match between Daniel Bryan and Kashuri Shibata. Right. The match was cringe. They were, they were both sitting on the floor slapping each other. It looked pathetic. It looked weird. All right. Now, who's, who's that a dream match to? See me, right? And the Fog Wrestling followers. We, we don't know who Kashuri Shibata is. That's not a fucking dream match. A dream match is The Rock taking on Roman Reigns. You know what I mean? Not Daniel Bryan taking on Kachuri Yashabata. I mean, Daniel Bryan, right? He's made a friend to Mania. You know, he was in WWE for a lot of years and now he's in AEW. I'm not going to pretend that Daniel Bryan, right, is the worst thing since sliced bread, even though it's normally the best thing. But he is not big enough to carry a match against Shabata. Nowhere near. I mean, sure, I don't even know who this guy is. D -d -d couldn't name one thing he's done, apart from probably wrestling in front of 15 people in Japan. Oh, but Fog Wrestling, he sold at the Tokyo Dome. What, with 10 people in it? I mean, that doesn't interest me, but but actually, um, it actually has 60,000 60, people sitting sh in. Sh sh Shut your mouth, you fun wearing fatty. The only people that ain't that even. It's, see, people that like Japanese wrestling and this shit, man, they fucking need their heads like that. That's all I'm going to say. But, yeah, apparently there was a dream match and a former cruiserweight down our each champion debuting, so why were the ratings so low? Well, let's actually find out what the ratings were, shall, shall we? Because it averaged. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the lay. 377,000. So, that's quite poor. That is, uh, it's not good. You know, considering, like, what it used to do, as we've talked about already with CM Punk now, if you, if you care about the 18 to 49 demographic, like Dave Meltzer and Chris Jericho, despite being two guys that are not even in that demographic, it did 153,000 fans. For context, the previous episode drew an average of 402,000 viewers um, with 147 fans coming from the 1849 demographic. So even though it drew more viewers, it actually drew six less, 6,000 viewers more than um, last week. But in terms of overall average viewers, 402,000 viewers was last week's, but this week's did 377, which if you can do math quickly, it's a 25,000 drop-off. So you look at it for that point of view, it's not great. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter if this... I mean, this show could draw 15 million, right? Now, I would probably have to change my rhetoric and pretend that, like, no, oh, well, maybe some, maybe some of them do draw. But it wouldn't change the fact that, in my opinion, the show is shit. Like, it's just so bad. And there's even weird-ass decisions, like, um... What do you call? What do you call that, Jobber? I mean, House of Black lost the title. I don't even know you're a fan of House of Black, like, but... You feel like if they were going to lose the titles, they would lose it to people that were worthwhile, and then you could pack making his debut. Tony. Tony, I'm a Jody. You, you the bastard pack wants a fight, Tony. And I want it now, Tony. Tony. There's a golden retriever on the screen, but uh, I'm golden retreating my ass on out of here. That is your collision rating, folks. What did you think of it? I mean, we can't be too surprised these days. The company's shite. You've you seen the footage of Edge cutting his promo, man. There's about four people in front of him. And when I say four people, 
I literally mean about four people. It wasn't an exaggeration. It literally is about four people sitting in front of Edge. It's pathetic. Wrestling's dead. Boom period. My arse. Till next time. Peace.